This week on my sewing journey, I have been working on a large pumpkin pillow. This is sort of like the ones that you see in the stores. I took an old bedspread cover that was damaged and cut away the damaged parts. I measured 43 inches around and 15 inches high. You know, it's a very large, large pillow. The stem is made from corduroy, and I measured that to be four and a half inches wide by four and a half inches long, and then I rolled it up, sewing the end, and put polyfill in the stem, and then on the top of it, I took a piece of scrap of corduroy, pushed it down in, and then sewed all the way around, and that's all you'll have to do for the stem. So that's like the easy, easy part. Next. I took the cover and I sewed a, I folded down about an inch all the way around and sewed that all the way around. That's to make like a drawstring, which I, when I got done sewing that, then I put through it a cord and pulled it as tight as I could and tied it off. And that's going to stay in there forever. And I tucked it inside. Then I put in the stem and I sewed the stem in there. For the bottom of the pumpkin, what I did was I took some yarn and sewed all the way around and pulled as tight as I could and then weaved the yarn through one more time, pulled it even tighter. And then, as you can see, these little stitches here is all I ended up having to sew, sewing again around and tied a knot and stuffed it in the bottom. Now, I did not do the strings that go along the sides. You can do that by just pulling, going from the bottom to the top and pulling the string and then going around the pumpkin. I didn't do that because I have a cat and I know she would chew on it. So after that, your pumpkin is done. Your pumpkin pillow is done. I hope you like this idea. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And happy sewing.